Hey everybody, it's Jay. So, I'm out here today at the long range with my Ruger PC-9. I've been very curious to see how this gun would perform at longer ranges. To date, I've really only shot it within 25 yards. But it has this heavy profile, fluted, but heavy profile barrel. And it has a very nice crisp trigger, which I think could lend itself to long range accuracy. Now, this is a 9mm, so you're inherently limited on range. Um, so what I'm doing today is not really a practical thing, it's more of a fun thing. This isn't going to be a scientific accuracy test. I'm out here just shooting this Magtech 115 grain FMJ ammo, which is the stuff that I pretty much shoot every day. But I was out here anyway and thought you guys might like to tag along. We haven't really covered much on the PCC, correction, on the PC9. Uh, Misha did do a video on the older style PC9, the original release. This new one is a takedown model. So all you have to do is lock the bolt back, lift up on this lever, and rotate it out. I always have a hard time figuring out. I got it on the first try, cool. So if I hadn't said anything, you would think I just knew how to do that right off the bat. Not a very difficult takedown at all, uh, but definitely adds some compactness to a otherwise kind of chunky or kind of hefty um, I think it feels good in the hand, uh, 9mm carbine. My only real complaints about it are, I think the recoil is a little heavy for a 9mm. Again, for a 9mm, 9mm doesn't recoil all that much, but compared to my other PCCs, this one recoils a little bit more, um, which is not a comfort issue. This is not about being a, a manly man tough guy. This is more about repeatability between shots. So typically each pull of the trigger, the muzzle jumps on this one more than I would say my other 9mm PCCs do for the most part. I have a few that are about the same or a little bit more. Um, the other thing too is, and again, this is totally relative in terms of 9mm PCCs, but it's a little on the heavier side. So it weighs just under seven pounds, which when you compare to the world of guns is actually quite light. Uh, but in the world of PCCs, it's a little bit in the he on the heavier end of uh, what's available out there. So, um, but that's again due to this, mostly due to this very heavy profile barrel. And the recoil I mentioned is due to this very heavy bolt that sends back and forth. So, um, but again, because it has a very nice trigger and it does have that heavy profile barrel, it seems like it would be something that would be pretty suited to accuracy. So I've already done some shooting with this today. I've pushed it out to about 50 yards and I'm hitting about within a fist size group at 50, um, which is typically what I expect from a 9mm PCC. I'm sure you could tighten that group with match grade ammo, but again, I have what I have. So now I'm going to push out to a 100 yard steel target and just see what I can do with that. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear it ring if I'm able to hit it from this far out. And uh, I'm gonna shoot point of aim to begin with and then we'll see where we go from there. So first shot shooting to point of aim, didn't hit. Can't really see where I'm hitting this far out, so I'm gonna try aiming just above the target on the second hash mark on the scope and see where I hit. I'm gonna aim a little higher. And I heard a ring. So I'm actually on the bottom hash mark of this scope. I'm aiming at this distance, probably about a foot above the target. Hit again. Missed. And missed that time. It's just amazing to me how long that delay is between shot and uh, impact. It had to. So the last few shots I shot at this rubber dummy target, and it might be a little hard to see on the dummy because uh, it's been shot quite a bit. Here's one, two, three, and four, eh, five, six inch group, I'd say. 
and using having to use a little Kentucky windage because uh, I was having to aim again. I was aiming at the chest, but above about a foot above, so not bad. So yeah, almost much to my surprise, I was able to actually hit an eight inch plate at 100 yards with nine millimeter. If you could hear on the camera, typically what you hear whenever you shoot a plate is the, the ping is almost right on top of the gunshot. Um, and sometimes like if you're shooting higher power rifle, it's it can be actually difficult to hear the, the ping of the steel. Uh, with the nine mil, there was a very long delay, relatively speaking again, um, a pretty long delay between the time I pulled the trigger and the bang and then the, the ping, you know, there was a little bit of a uh, a second or two there before it hit. So that shows you how much velocity you're losing in nine millimeter when you start pushing out that far. So yeah, like I said, I, I, I like this gun. I definitely have criticisms about it. But the thing of it is, is I do think as well, it's the best deal in nine mil PCCs right now. Um, I haven't shot the X-Tar EP9, so I, I can't speak to that. But this is a largely metal gun with a polymer stock. And like I said, it feels very solid. The polymer doesn't have a very soft feel at all. And I've seen these go for under four, correction, under $500 for about 450 So a really, I think they're, they're a great bargain for uh, the 9 mil PCC person or someone who's just wanting to get one into one for the first time. Uh, the other nice thing about them is, is they come out of the box with Ruger SR magazine, uh, magazine well. And then they include in the box for you a Glock uh, G17 style uh, Glock mag adapter. So you can use your Glock magazines if you don't have a Ruger SR, and I can say that I don't. So it was uh, nice to have that feature out of the box. But yeah, yeah if you want one of these, uh, check them out. I think it's, I totally think it's worth the money. I think that they're a good deal. Um, realistically, you're only paying about 150 bucks more than you would for a high point. So, in, in some cases. But, um, yeah, if you like this video, please click like. Be sure to go check out our backlog and subscribe to us. And if you're interested in helping support us to, so we can get out here to the range a little bit more often, uh, please go check out our Patreon page. This is Jay, and we will see you again very soon next time.